Alright, I'm looking under the car. Here I got the this is the light I use. It's a Bauer um cordless uh that I picked up at Harbor Freight real cheap. This works real well and um doing the rust treatment on the box chassis frame and that's amazingly it's held up but um I just put some enamel paint on the, the and then let's look at what I got I'll uh, see I still got some still got some rust inside the frame there so what I'm gonna do I use this um I use this boroscope camera and turn this on this this way I can see inside the frame itself so you can see let me focus this now you can see some rust in there you can't it's not focused but you can see the orange specks see that's that's actually I got the camera inside the frame there let me show you here. It's a light. See that's see this camera's going inside that frame. And then we look at the camera down here. And you can see that the turn that light off. So you can see there's some rust. It's actually it is better. I I sprayed some rust dissolver the rust oleum that's a 50 percent phosphoric acid so it's not it's maybe probably less than 50 percent so it's not that it's not that powerful stuff but um you don't have to worry about dissolving the metal or anything i mean i haven't seen any rust created by the rust gel like so, I'm just going to keep at it. Let me see if I can focus on this thing. Anyway, let me see. I got this down here. That down there. So you can see. Now, okay, no. It's definitely better. So I'm just going to keep at it. Okay, so now the thing is that the reason it's better is because yesterday... I pulled out all these metal chunks out of the inner frame. This is from before I did any rust treatment. And these were hard to get at. So, But I got these um, hose pliers at Hardware Freight. Um, so these, I was able to use these to go inside the inner frame and you know it's kind of like a big pain because you got to feel with the pliers to grab on to, to grab onto these metal chunks that were inside the inner frame now amazingly luckily the bottom of this frame is is um, like it's if you stick your finger in there it's actually pretty thick um, steel, I don't, you know, they, I don't know, they doubled up on the bottom of this, this box frame, um, so far, I haven't any, I don't have any holes, this is on the passenger side, I don't have any holes yet on the, on the frame, but this is, it gets, people get holes really easily, because it's, it's right next to the exhaust and the and so the and also the the catalytic converter is over here on the other side of the frame <clears throat> and so it it heats up the it, it heats up the frame where the salt start rusting out rusting out the frame really easily and you get this big hole and it just catches it catches all the um 
on the spray from the road. So all the salt spray goes in there. And um, totally just rots out the frame. But I just caught it like early enough where I was able to see all the salt water just goes in there when you're driving along. And there's another hole on the other side here. So their 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 goal was to try to keep this washed out, you know, so the instead of the heat, you know, the the idea was like to have a lot of holes so that the whatever salt did get in there would be able to get washed out, you know, so it wouldn't stay in there to rust out the frame. Um but even if you if you go to a car wash and you get the under undercarriage wash, it's probably not gonna I don't know how effective that is at getting washing this out. And you can see I have a my hands are recovering because I got some of this this phosphoric acid on my hand. Um and then it just burned a it luckily it didn't go all the way through my skin. It was pretty deep, you know. It was like half. It took a big chunk out of my skin. <clears throat> Just scabbed over, but <clears throat> so that's. I've been using this hat because I ran out of my natural gloves to hold this rust dissolver. Just. So I'll just spray, spray some of this on here right now. Get this. I could spray it in there. Let's spray it back here. And then the real tough part is to cut, cut through this small hole. I get that. I gotta hold it special. two hands to do that. I'm going to use this thing to kind of get in there and rub it into the metal. Oops. More light. 